Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop. Today is Thursday, November the 7th, and wow, did we ever get a lot of rain out of this system. It wasn't Hurricane Raphael in itself, but indirectly Hurricane Raphael pushed a boatload of moisture, tropical moisture, into our area, resulting in a tremendous amount of rain across a large portion of Georgia and into South Carolina, including the greater Statesboro, Metter, and Millen area, and of course in the Savannah, Hilton Head, Bluffton, uh, Hardyville area as well. Let's first of all take a look at the radar. Uh, late this afternoon, it's five o'clock now, uh, Thursday afternoon, we're still seeing some rain across the uh, southeastern Georgia. Most of it has moved out of the uh, South Carolina area right now, but uh, this will continue to slowly push itself off to the southeast and continue to weaken throughout the nighttime hours. But what I want to show you here is the actual rainfall, storm total rainfall associated with this system. And this was since yesterday. So yesterday afternoon into last night and into this morning. And this area here, this purple area here, I can zoom in on it there, uh, in and around the Excelsior, uh, Pulaski, uh, Register area between Statesboro and Metter. Um, and uh, Statesboro right over here. This region here, that's anywhere between uh, 11 and 12 inches of rain. Uh, on, the, on the average, 8 to 12 inches of rain. Right here over near Excelsior, the rainfall total there is... 13, it, oh, this is an estimation by radar, but 13 and a half inches of rain uh, out of that area. The red region here, uh, that's showing about uh, nine inches of rain across a large swath of this area, all the way down into the Claxton area, Reedsville, uh, into uh, Glenville, just north of Glenville. Glenville itself estimated about five and a half, six inches of rain there. So all of this is in the Canoochee River, Ohupi River, and Ogeechee River Basin, and over here in the Savannah River Basin. Now, as you cross the river into South Carolina and Hampton, uh, over into the Hardyville area, again, about 8 to 10 inches of rain in and around the Tillman area uh, into Hampton County, and then further south in the um, Ridge, uh, Ridge, Ridgeland area, further south into Hardyville, a good... Uh, uh, was uh, a good uh, six to seven inches of rain, five to seven inches of rain, mostly about six inches of rain in and around the Hardyville area. And as you uh, get closer to the coast, it was a little less in the uh, Hilton Head area, uh, about uh, two to two and a half, three inches of rain there. In Savannah, though, a very heavy rain did fall throughout a large portion of Chatham County, particularly the central portion of the uh, city of Savannah uh, into the Savannah River area. Uh, downtown Savannah, Garden City, Port Wentworth, very heavy rains, numerous reports of street flooding, cars being stranded uh, during the afternoon hours, particularly uh, between around noon and three o'clock this afternoon when the heaviest rain fell at the time of the high tide. And uh, these rainfall totals are anywhere between uh, uh, three to five inches in the greater Savannah area. Here at my location, since midnight, I've had uh, 3.4 inches of rain on the south side at Coffee Bluff, and had about uh, two thirds of an inch of rain prior to that. So I'm looking at about close to four inches of rain uh, here at my weather station at my heavenly backyard garden. Well, there's Hurricane Raphael, and it's slowly weakening as it's encountering uh, hostile conditions, hostile uh, environmental conditions, and it will continue to weaken as it's moving over, well, relatively warm waters, but there's a good southwest flow and westerly flow in the mid and upper layers of the atmosphere. That's called wind shear, and that's breaking it apart. It'll eventually uh, just spin itself out in the central and southern Gulf of Mexico, so I'm not too concerned about that. And most of our precipitation is over around here, but we still are seeing the the after effects of all that rain and advisories continue. And looking at these rivers, the uh, river stages over here at the uh, Ohupi and the Kanuchi River, uh, already flood warnings in effect for that area there, those rivers. So let's take a look at that right now. And uh, some of the other precipitation reports uh, also showing uh, very heavy rains falling across portions of the upper parts of southeastern Georgia, southern South Carolina, uh, in and around the, uh, from Columbia down toward the Hardyville area. Very, very heavy rains falling in that region. So let's take a look at the, uh, the river stages. First of all, on the uh, uh, 
Ogeechee River at Eden. Uh, the forecast is expected to see that water level to continue to rise, uh, reaching into the moderate flood area around 14 feet uh, by uh, this weekend. So the Ogeechee River is going to definitely get above flood stage, not as high as it was uh, during Debbie, but uh, still very high. Uh, so if you're in and around the Ogeechee River, be on the alert for that. Uh, the um, Canucci River around Claxton area, that is going to get into the major flood area later on, to, uh, well, beginning later tonight, but then throughout the day tomorrow into Saturday, uh, the river is going to get up to about 16 feet there, and that is major flood level, uh, as you can see by the map over here. But uh, looking at the Ohupi River at Reedsville, that's up as well, and it's going to rise up into the moderate flood area of 16 feet. I think that's right. Yep, 16 feet. And uh, it's going to hold in that area for several days. So in and around the Ohupi River, uh, expect to see some widespread flooding there. And on the Savannah River, uh, there was a lot of water and rain falling in the central Savannah River region. However, we do have, well, we do, I don't, but the uh, uh, Army Corps of Engineers have the control flood with the dams further upriver around Augusta. So that helps uh, moderate the river levels on the Savannah River. But even with that, uh, it's going to get up approaching the moderate flood stage near 15 feet, um, like 13 feet um, uh, over the weekend going into next week. So the Savannah River is going to be very, very high as well. All right. Uh, one of the things I want to show you, the, um, uh, the rainfall this late morning and early afternoon in the Savannah area uh, came during the time of a very high tide, uh, th there it was right there. And the tide at that time was well over eight feet. And uh, it was at the time of the heavy rains that were falling in the Savannah area that just simply aggravated the flooding conditions uh, in and throughout the city of Savannah, particularly Midtown, all the way into downtown Savannah on the east side and on the west side. Uh, major flooding uh, ongoing with the streets out there. But the water is receding now. That's good news. But uh, the damage has been done. All right, looking at the uh, forecast, uh, this is a brief uh, weather video update. I just wanted to let you know how much rain fell and what the effects of the rain would be with the river stages across the area. And uh, uh, the rain is going to be ending. We're going to start seeing uh, breaks in the clouds tomorrow and Saturday. A little more clouds coming in on Sunday, but no rain of uh, any significance. Uh, and then back to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, fair to partly cloudy weather conditions. And temperatures still much above the normal for this time of the year. Normal high is around 71, normal lows around 50, upper 40s. Uh, we're going to see uh, highs in the uh, lower 80s and lows in the middle 60s throughout the weekend. The cooling off a little bit, but still well above normal for Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday. So keep that in mind. Uh, the heaviest of the rain is now over. So thanks for watching uh, right here on my Pat's Weather and Nature uh, YouTube channel. Bye.